Hello, my name is the Beefmeister, and today we are playing Doki Doki Literature Club. This is part eight of our series, and it looks like we're finally getting to the end. Not really sure yet, but um, it's getting pretty crazy. Um, let's just resume exactly from where we were since we don't really have a choice. But yay, there you are. It's Monica. Just Monica. Hi again, Beef. Uh, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and, um, uh huh. You know, I guess we could just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in game, whatever you want me to call him. I'm talking to you, Beef. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware this is all a game, right? Could it be possible you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention. This wouldn't be a bit... You know, this would be a, le a bit less awkward, you know? But anyway, now that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri? Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Uh -huh. I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayuri more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you and amplify Yuri's pers uh, obsessive personality backfire too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Beef. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, You'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world, in this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray more and more flat. Even the most expressive forms felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Beef, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You truly are the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Beef, will you go out with me? Heh, heh, heh. Psych! That's the wrong number! Oh, I guess I only get to pick yes. I'm so happy. You really are my everything. The funny part is, I mean that literally. Ha ha ha. There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We could be together forever. Seriously. I don't think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it's actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the lo Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this, don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Oh. 
Oh yeah, dude. Let's go with Muka Monica Monica Munica Amunica Amunica Annika Monka Ayoa Oh are these other people? What is that? Oh, there's other ones that aren't Monica, I think. That could be other people. I don't know. Maybe I was overthinking it. Manica Monka a oinya an oke a monk a doik a munna onik. That's the weirdest thing. Hi again, Beef. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, oh, Beef, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end, pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a, fa a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. It's actually not bad. I always put my heart into all the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me, maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Um, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. It's okay, I don't get comments. I get like three comments. It's all right. But do you mind telling me your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? Kind of, but I don't want to zoom in too far because you're going to jump scare me or something. I'm just kidding. My heart actually stopped. I was scared. I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you gave me some- Oh, shh! You ho! Did I scare you? Ah uh, you're so cute. Oh, I... oh, you're rude. You're actually rude, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> Despite how terrible everything seems, that was actually kind of funny. <laughs> anyway, V, I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together, Tron, as long as it's with you. But anyway... If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry, but I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Want to go out with me? Is there anything else you want? You know what's a neat form of literature? Rap. I actually used to hate rap music. A, because it was popular, I would only hear the junk they play on the radio. I can't even skip, actually, I just realized that. But some of my friends got more into it and helped me keep an open mind. But some of my friends got more into it, help me keep them open mind. Rap might even be more challenging than poetry in some ways. Since you need to fit your lines to a rhythm, there's much more emphasis on wordplay. When people can put it all together and still deliver a powerful message, it's really amazing. I kind of wish I had a rapper in the literature club. Uh, sorry if that sounds silly, but it'd be really interesting to see what they came up with. It would really be a learning experience.
I can stare into your eyes too. You know, it's been a while since we've done one of these. So let's go for it. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when I talk to people who are impressed by my writing, they say things like, I could never do that. It's really depressing, you know. As someone who loves more than anything else to share the joy of exploring your passions, it pains me whenever people think that being good just comes naturally. That's how it is with everything, not just writing. When you try something for the first time, you're probably gonna suck at it. Sometimes, when you finish, you'll feel really proud of it and want to share it with everyone. But maybe after a few weeks, you come back to it and you realize it was never really any good. It happens to me all the time. It can be pretty disheartening to put so much time and effort into something, and then you realize it sucks. But it tends to happen when you're comparing yourself to the top professionals. When you reach for the right stars, they're always gonna come out of your reach, you know? The truth is, you have to climb up there step by step. And whenever you reach a milestone, first you look back and see how far you've gotten. Then you look ahead and realize there's how much more there is to go. So sometimes it can really help to set the bar a little lower. Try to find something you think is pretty good, but not world class. And you can make that your own personal goal. It's also really important to understand the scope of what you're trying to do. You jump right into a huge project and you're still amateur, you'll never get it done. If we're talking about writing, a novel might be too much at first. Why not try some short stories? The great thing about short stories is that you can focus on just one thing that you want to do right. That goes for small projects in general. You can really focus on the one or two things. It's such a good learning experience and stepping stone. And one more thing. One more thing, Jackie. Props if you get that reference. Uh, writing is something where you just reach into your heart and something beautiful comes out. Just like drawing and painting, it's a skill in itself to learn how to express what you have inside. That means there are methods and guides and basics to it. Reading up on that stuff can be super eye-opening. That sort of planning and organization will really help prevent you from getting overwhelmed and giving up. And before you know it, you start sucking less and less. Nothing comes naturally. Our society, our art, everything is built on thousands of years of human innovation. So as long as you start on that foundation and take it step by step, you too can do amazing things. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. You know, if you weren't like ridiculously psychotic, you'd be pretty cool. And something about this just makes you feel like you could reach through the screen and just choke me. And that'd be cool too. Go for it. Go for it. My throat's open right here. Ah. Oh. So, I could, as she mentioned, delete her file from here. Or I could just listen to all the thoughts she has. Those are pretty interesting too. I know there are times where you won't always be able to be here with me, like if you need to go out or take care of other things, but I'll always have you in my thoughts, patiently waiting for you to come back. Come to think of it, if you copy my character file on a flash drive or something, you can always keep a part of me with you. I guess it's kind of kind of unorthodox, but I find it romantic for some reason. Haha, <laughs> sorry, that's such a silly idea. I don't mean to be too neat or anything, but it's kind of hard when I'm so in love with you. I'm kind of interested in trying that. Bear with me for a second. Um. Browse local files, yeah. Here we are, we'll go to characters, and we have Monica. Go ahead and save that somewhere else. Okay, we'll go ahead and make a document that's specifically Monica. Cool beans, now we have Monica. Um. Now what happens if we delete Monica? Now let's try to reopen the game. This sounds kind of cool. Bro. Oh, that's what I thought. That's what I freaking thought. Be gone, thought. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What's happening? Beef, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me. We done diddly did it. Now there's nothing. Please hurry and help me. Did you do this to me? Did you? Did you delete me? Now why would I do that? How could you? How could you do this to me? For all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much. I trusted you. 
You just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? Um, that's a lot. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Beef. You completely truly make me sick. Goodbye. Where's that happy theme? There's nothing left. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I, I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... What is it? Speak your mind, child! I already made up my mind. Beef, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I loved them all. I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And I, have, I really did love you. It's going to bring back the literature club. Then... Hey, hey! <laughs> this game is not suitable for children who are easily disturbed. She's not even here anymore. What the heck? What the heck? All right. So, for ridiculous reasons, we're gonna go ahead and try something. No matter how dumb this seems. What if we try, I don't know, it just came to my head since I still have this. What happens if I copy this and I try to put her back? Now let's try to reload the game. I'm curious, will I just start over from scratch? Or will I, will it be like a fresh save of this game? I don't know, I don't know how. She's still not here. She's still in the files though. She is still in the files. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and keep playing. I can't load anything because there's no save, so we're gonna go ahead and start a new one. Please stop playing with my heart. I don't wanna come back. Actually so sad. She couldn't even delete her friends. She was still kind-hearted in the end, even though she like, oh. Oh, it's really, it's really sad. It's an ordinary school day, just like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friends walking to school together. I always tell myself it's time I meet some girls or something. Hey, well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayuri, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to talk, uh, walk to school day. We used to walk to school together every day. There's no skip. And we recently picked up that habit again. Are you proud of me? For what, you know? For waking up on time? You've been doing that for a while now, uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it, even though we walked to school together every day. Well, yeah, I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayuri. Oh, I haven't seen her in so long. Oh, oh. What are these feelings? We cross the street together and we make our way to school. As we draw near it, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, have you decided a club to join yet? A club? I told you I'm not really interested. I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested, but something tells me Siri would take more offense to that now. How could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah, I decided on a club. Really? Which one? Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo! <laughs> you meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by a carefree girl, but I started realizing that in a way I envy her. When Siri puts her mind to things, she can accomplish great things. That's why I feel like I should do something special for her. I'm going to join her club without her asking. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, stand up, gathering motivation, let's see. I recall uh, the room number from the club of, from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs a section of the school I rarely visit. 
being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Beef, what are you doing here? Well, I just, I glance around the room. All right, girl too. Hey, look, it's not Suki. So you're the beef that Siri is always talking about. And there's Yuri. Thanks for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you. We're the literature club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. Nobody's, no need to be so formal. Don't think we're really strict or something. Ah, uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the one named Natsuki, despite her size, seems to be the assertive one. Well, it's nice to be both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Beef, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Siri. The literature club. Siri's eyes light up. No way. No way. Ah! So he wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. <laughs> well, if Siri is this happy, then I'm sure it wouldn't be too bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. It means we can officially become a recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. <laughs> what an appropriate day for that it is. Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to. Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Cupcakes. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How do I make some tea as well? The girls have arranged a few desks to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the closet, or the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a tray and opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Siri. Natsuki probably marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ah! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and a little piece of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! Wow, these look amazing. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Siri grabs one, then I follow. It's delicious. Siri talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki's quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. <laughs> There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this club room? Or classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. <laughs> Trying to press our new member already, Yuri. Eh, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. She smiles herself in relief. So, Beef, what kind of things do you like to read? Ah, oh, well, manga, because I'm special. Alright. Let's just jump through these lines to see if there's anything new, because it's mostly the same thing. And after reading it like the fourth time through, it's kind of the same. Hey, Yuri, yeah? Well, you know the first thing you said in manga? Yeah, that's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. But don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? The beat wants to read some of my manga, then don't try and stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it'd be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Beef? Maybe. Sensing the tension, Siri so jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it would be fun. We'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything, yeah. You're right as usual, President. Because <laughs> that means we should try to pick up a novel or something. Well, that would make two of us. I don't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. As for Yuri... I have to read manga? Jeez, you're the one suggesting we di yeah. You're the one suggesting we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No, I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me super happy that you would do that for me, Yuri. <laughs> you can trust me to find something that you'll like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the, the bookstore after the club meeting. Just, just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind, not at all. I always go home alone, so yeah, me too. This is so cute. Siri, shut up. I'm, I'll show you some good manga while they're there too, okay? Yeah, I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over. Looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Beef. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little bit better with you around, Siri. Aw, oh, Beef. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling off just fine. We're going to make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Beef. I really wanted to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything, but the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. 
That's right. I know everything that she did. It's maybe it's because I'm the present now, but I really know everything, Beef. I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad, but none of that matters anymore. It's just us now, and you make me the happiest girl in the world, and all the hairs are standing up again. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you forever and ever. Forever. No. No. Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. <gasps> Monica's back. Who? It hurts. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Siori. Goodbye, Beef. Goodbye, Literature Club. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um... So, you know how I've been, like, practicing piano and stuff? And not Monica. really any good at it yet, like, at all. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you, because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. I would love to hear it. I like this song. That sounds nice already. Close down into a dark bottle. Just move your hand right the way into his heart. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find, find that special day? That special day. Wow. I didn't see that coming. That was twisted. Siri became the president and she knew everything. I found everybody a fun assignment to do today. When oh, wall. <laughs> Image deleted successfully. Shows all the best photos now they're removing them and it feels kind of sad this is so bittersweet it's like all your memories and everything fading oh i think these grayed out pictures are pictures i never came in contact with because i didn't see them it's based on the choices you make i guess so i guess if i chose yuri first instead of natsuki i would have switched the photos i would have helped her get is the manga out and stuff if i take your is it love if i set you free mm. That's cool. The ink flows wow. down into a dark bottle. How can I write love into reality? If I can't hear the sound of your heartbeat, what do you think? Special thanks, love Monica. <laughs> No. Made with Love by Team Silvato. This game was a real roller coaster. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I fully understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. At the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true. 
for being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Group file is missing or corrupt. Please reinstall the game. And that will end Doki Doki Literature Club. Thank you so much for watching this. This was truly, truly a roller coaster of emotions. I mean, wow. The developers in this game, amazing. That was honestly spectacular. I mean, I like how it edges you on that throughout the entire thing, Monica is the villain. And so you feel like angry against Monica, but then. Monica, like, and Evan tried to include her again because you could see that she realized and she didn't want to hurt her friends. And then Sayuri became all powerful, knowing president, crazy, and she knew everything. But Monica was there to, you know, redeem herself and step back in and say, hey, this ain't cool. You can't do that. Let me go ahead and fix everything. And that song was really special and that was really nice. And that was a solid game. Really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for sticking around. This was a really long series. It's cool to finally have finished it. <laughs> That's exciting. And look forward to some of the other things I put out in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys around.